hi so i'm back with another video in this video my opponent uh, will be sensei okay and the battle map will be the abandoned oasis okay so at the beginning emergency measures to get enough energy for construction of three barracks okay and then ordering infantry switching into training and then i will be switching into scouting okay now yeah scouting boost gathering the containers okay second container okay now here I got the third one okay and I'm really taking advantage of resistance uh, rifleman speed here you can see I'm gathering a lot of containers compared to him and switching into construction boost okay unfortunately this one is gone okay and then supply boosts because uh, since I do not have enough resources to construct to supply center immediately after my headquarters is upgraded into level 2 so I'm switching into supply boost and then I'm gonna use my infantry for scouting okay and there are five I will uh, require only one Okay, now vehicle factory and for now I'm only thinking about a uh, light unit combination infantries and uh, vehicles like porcupines armadillos uh, that's what I'm thinking right now but let's see we need to have a, a scout first and uh, one EVA factory uh, even though I do not have a level 3 HQ uh, that's just for dragonflies okay ordering fortress and headquarter level 2 so is it for uh, handling my infantries or uh, is he expecting me to rush with infantry but here now it's clear that there are a lot of infantries just at 4 minute mark he might uh, probably had used infantries with a training boost and rushed me with a lot of infantries that I wasn't prepared and also fortress here that makes things a lot difficult fortress will uh, defeat my incoming units assaults are already too powerful but I also have a trump card my sniper tower is constructed even though it's being attacked by a lot of units of the enemy so now I do have a very good number of units uh, even though my sniper tower got destroyed and also I'm going to use the coyote to kill down the infantries the fortress are being a lot troublesome and uh, taking down my riflemen very easily but I can use the coyote to move around the assault infantries and take them down before they even participate in the main combat and thus uh, I will be able to stop the rush attack so fortunately my buildings was not destroyed it was a vehicle factory level 2 and uh, that's why it got more HP armor than a level 1 vehicle factory thus I didn't have to lose any buildings fortunately and so uh, I'm hoping that uh, at this point he will not have much units to defend since he uh, spent a lot of resources on rush attacks okay then I will be trying for that now let's see okay one bunker going through construction and there are actually enough number of units and since one bunker is already constructed it will be a waste to rush the enemy at a moment like this this will just uh, kill down all of my units unnecessarily and will give the enemy a chance to recover and I'm not 
uh, going to let that happen. Okay, so at this moment he has uh, assault and fortress and also he's adding bunkers. I'm adding uh, sniper towers. Uh, if they attack me once again, then I will be able to repel the attack uh, more easily than the last time. Okay, and then I'm going for armadillo and rifleman since uh, fortress are a lot troublesome and armadillos are better to deal with them. Armadillos can uh, take them down a lot earlier. So I tried to take another route because in this abandoned oasis map a base can be attacked from a various sides so it's so it's uh, very important to have scout on different places to know where from the enemies are going to attack. He used one uh, fortress for scouting and managed to scout so he knows that I do not have a level three headquarter level two headquarters so and also his scout find out the location of my units so he might be preparing uh, for a rush attack assault infantries bunkers and fortress probably okay let's see yes more bunkers are being added on this side okay and he cannot have more than three bunkers with the headquarter level two. Okay, so that means uh, there will be no bunkers at the middle side. However, I could not see many of that many of units. Okay, and since he's uh, preparing himself to repel attack from that side, I will be changing my direction of the units once again. because I don't want to combat against those uh, bunkers they, they will be very much difficult to beat and also going for avia factory level 2 for hawks as well for uh, providing additional pressure to the enemy and also got special vehicle factory constructed because if there are uh, going to be any vertex uh, then my un land units will be totally defenseless since there are no porcupines so porcupines uh, I'm also preparing porcupines so let's see since there is only one bunker uh, I'm, I was intending to attack here but this pl uh, place is also guarded well enough so again retreating Okay, and then going for Hawks. And he's continuously sending uh, scouts in all the places and that's those scouts also causing him resources. And by getting uh, more containers at the beginning uh, gave me the advantage. That's why I have the advantage in terms of development and the number of units. So one infantry for scouting uh, did not get enough information I hope or probably my airfield is already noticed. So I got one hawk so far. Let's see what the enemy has. Okay he's constructing air defense now and also preparing typhoons to combat my hawks. But since this building is going through construction, it will have 50% HP and armor and it's much easier to destroy. And I will take that opportunity to make some resource loss of the enemy. So one air defense is already down. Okay, and I'm go also going to take down the second one as well. So successfully destroyed both air defense without uh, any loss of hawks and then I retreated since uh, there is already one typhoon and there will be more. Okay so he also have to now uh, spend resources on air defense and typhoons and that will also reduce 
his uh, command points and he will have less number of units that can fight uh, land that can make land attacks and if he don't make sufficient typhoons then I will be just keep on bothering him and the hawks are uh, flying a little strange way they did not uh, follow the command again I tried to change the route for attack but those uh, assault infantries again for scouting and then I will be adding more sniper tower since if my base is uh, going under attack then I will be in a lot of trouble since he already has typhoons and a lot of land units so I tried I changed uh, the route of my units at the middle but I'm not intending to attack at the middle because the area, uh, area where my units will be a very short narrow entrance this will uh, reduce the possibility of my attack being successful because all my units will not be attacked at the same time and since he has bunker uh, as his trump card so I need to uh, gather a lot more land units before attack so that they can uh, take down both his units and also bunkers as well So with headquarter level 4 I do have a very decent number of units also 3 hawks and so far he did not go for air units so he uh, has to continuously send uh, assault units for scouting here once again another assault infantry. okay try to take down the supply center but again the hawks are not obeying commands okay got headquarter level 3 but no airfield and no aviation so far okay upgrading the Headquarter into level 5 before I uh, launch the final attack. So even if my attack fails then I will be able to go for another attack with a lot a larger number of units. okay so my units are now in position uh, I'm putting my infantry into one group and vehicles into another group since uh, vehicles can uh, fire their best weapon while moving but the infantry has to be on a steady position they cannot uh, deal much damage while moving so I'm just using the infantry at patrol mode and vehicles will be just running from one corner so I'm in a good uh, advantageous location here you can see that all my units are being able to attack while his units are not due to the buildings his units cannot move freely and there is one torrent a lot of torrents could have done a big damage in a cluster of units like uh, infantry like this but there are not enough number of torrents so my attack is being successful and it's not like the first 10 minute that I repelled the attack uh, at the first 10 minute mark uh, there was 30% additional attack power for common defense boost and also 30% armor but since 10 minute passed uh, long ago he uh, didn't cannot take that advantage so he managed to get a level 4 headquarter however it's too late I already 
took down his face. Okay, yeah, so this will be the end now. Okay, so thanks for watching and uh, hope you will like this video and uh, subscribe and I will be back with new video again. So goodbye.